How's it going shoppers? Today we're gonna to be doing a Walmart Spark promo. This promo was from Saturday through Monday and I'm trying to complete 15 orders to get the additional $75. Sounded pretty easy, I was gonna do five orders a day, but then yesterday we had a bunch of problems on the platform. I had to cancel half of my orders. So today, in order for us to actually hit the promo, I got to do eight orders. Just so happens a lot of people in my area got the same exact promo. So we're all fighting for the orders right now so that we can complete this promo. So we're going to be taking some questionable orders today, but that's all right because we're going to make an additional 75 to hopefully make more than double my goal for today. So I already have an order in my car. This one was $18. For about seven miles. The first customer does live in a nursing home though, and I usually try to avoid those orders, but we gotta do it today. Otherwise, we might not hit the promo. Also, it might storm again. All right guys, so we got to the first drop off. Time to go see if I can find this customer. This should be fun. All right, so we have no time to spare if we're gonna make the next drop. And missing just one drop today is not gonna be good because we're pushing it to do eight orders today with this many shoppers. The great news is I got a, like a four or $3 cash tip right here. So that puts this order a little over 20 bucks. So that's great, very sweet. Drop off was way easier than I thought too. Yeah guys, I wasn't joking. It's looking very stormy. it's gonna pick up on camera but you can actually see the rain over there oh wow I really hope I got the lightning on camera at least that was kind of cool and now the rain begins at least we made 20 bucks so far quick little order we got seven more to do today so we're gonna be out in the storm because we got to do what we got to do but you can see those clouds they're really low and uh, we actually had a tornado somewhere around here recently, which is kind of rare for Southern Texas. Just got to Walmart, it's 11.23, so a little late for the drop. Unfortunately, I missed a traffic light. I was like right on the edge of making it, and it turned yellow right in front of my eyes. These traffic lights are like literally a five minute wait time every time over here, so sucks but I didn't run the light. That's the important part. So hopefully this uh, gets redeemed by getting a shopping order instead. I feel like I've noticed when it rains on Walmart Spark, a lot of shopping orders seem to come out. Maybe it's just chance, but that's the way it seemed lately. All right, so we got an order. It's uh, two no tippers for 6.7 miles. No thanks. So no joke, they've sent me three no tip orders in a row. I'm not doing those. I'm not that desperate. Oh, my fourth no tipper in a row. And these are two customers that aren't tipping, by the way. It's not just like one customer that's not tipping, two. So we sat for about an hour there and um, we ended up just taking a $25 shopping order. So I don't have to wait the 40 minutes to go pick up a round robin, so that should save us some time as long as I could shop this really quick. So I'm gonna go into Walmart, go get this done, and this should put us at around 45 in about two and a half hours. order shopped pretty smooth there's just one kind of like glitch going on right now at my Walmart where they tell the customers that they could buy individual poblano or however you pronounce that pepper you could buy those individually but you can't you have to buy them in a big bag now and spark when you make the replacement they think it's a different department so you can't make the replacement even though they have poblano peppers what I don't want happening is the customer getting all upset, going to the store themselves and finding the peppers and thinking I'm just a poor shopper, removing my tip and stuff like that. So I had to let them know exactly what was going on to avoid that, but they didn't respond. So hopefully they're not too upset. Got the eggs in the front seat with me. I saw another driver talking to like three other uh, Spark people. I think uh, something happened. It looked like they were trying to review security camera footage, so hopefully everything's all right. Anyways, we have a six minute drive to this drop off, then we'll only need six more orders after this. All right guys, we're 
we're taking a quick little break to go get some gas. Now's the time to shamelessly plug signing up to get upside with uh, my link down in the description and comment section down below. Oh, this entire gas station is broken. All right, we're gonna go to a different gas station. But anyways, with upside, if you guys are an Instacart shopper, if you're platinum or diamond cart or even gold cart, you guys could save some extra money on top of the savings that Upside already provides. So right now I'm saving 20 cents per gallon at a Shell station. We just took a $28 Walmart Spark order. It is a shopping order to put us at a total for three today. It was kind of interesting. I went in there just to use the bathroom and the receipt checkers were fighting. Today's been very hostile. So that was probably the smoothest shop so far. Only took us about 15 minutes. Right now we have about a 10 minute drive to get to our drop off. It is seven miles, but it's all highway, so it makes it pretty fast. Walmart Spark's busy right now. I just got a $35, 7.2 mile order. So I'm gonna go park somewhere else and we're gonna go shop this. It is like seven miles again, but for 35, that's a steal. All right, so no refunds on that order. I ended up forgetting to grab um, an item on the other side of the store where I started. So I kind of had to backtrack, so that slowed me down. And then after that, I accidentally walked to my last parking spot I parked somewhere different and I completely forgot, so that was kind of awkward. Now we just have a 12 minute drive to this drop off and this should put us well over 100. And by the time we're done doing those four more orders and then getting that $75 promo, we're gonna be well over 200, I think. so we just took a $25 curbside delivery order, two customers. One is alcohol, so I will have to scan an ID. All right, so we just finished that delivery and look what we just got. That's almost a $36 curbside order. So after this curbside order, we'll still need two more orders. So doing these curbsides are gonna kind of slow me down, but I'm not gonna pass up a $36 one. It's only three miles. dropped off getting kind of tired of all these uh id orders the last person i delivered to didn't seem very happy that i had to scan his id just because he was obviously old enough to drink which i can understand being a little annoyed with that but with gig work and being a delivery driver it's kind of hard to get around some of that stuff just because of laws so we just need two more orders and then i need to go home because we have a live stream to do tonight it's gonna be a busy day. All right guys, we just took another order. It's a $20 order, just a couple of miles, and it's only like seven items. So let's go get it done. I'm starting to get really tired. Shop went smooth, no problems at all. We got a 10 minute drive through the drop off. This delivery was a little weird because they parked their car right in front of the ramp, probably because they had to use it, but of course there's no room for me to actually get to their front porch. Kind of sounds like a fire hazard. All right guys, we just took our last order. It's not the greatest, it's only like $16 for just a couple of miles, two or three items. It's still an easy order, and I'm not gonna complain about that because this is my last one, so I'm gonna go home right after this order. Then we'll go over how much money we made today. 
Guys, we got the bag. The bag is secured. We're gonna go drop this off. I did get selected for a cart check for this order. I'm pretty sure those can be random, but I've also noticed I seem to get those more often when I have orders that have to be canceled randomly. But I haven't canceled any orders today, so hopefully it's not because like someone reported an order missing. But what's been happening lately is the person that has like the phone at self-checkout like isn't actually there. So I end up waiting for so long that the app just tells me to go ahead and to proceed to leave the store even though no one checked my card. So hopefully I don't get in trouble for that. I feel like that's on Walmart there. We have a six minute drive. All right guys, we just finished and I'm looking at the clouds right now. It is beautiful out right now. Anyways, I'm gonna get home just so I could go do some math and then we'll figure out what our hourly rate was for the day and the total amount of income that we earned. I'm hoping it's well above 250, maybe even getting close to 300. So that'll definitely be nice. So I'll see you guys in the office. All right guys, so I just did the math. With the promo, we made $278. So that's really sweet for working only nine hours. Let's go ahead and see what that hourly rate is. We're basically sitting at $31 per hour. Just knock off a dollar per hour if you guys wanna include gas. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I have a live stream to go do, so I'll see you guys on the next video.